the responsibilities our team has also taken on has been running the city Instagram and Twitter handles. And so we capture photos when we walk around downtown and one of them happened to be of an owl. And we posted the picture onto our social media and we did not realize that we were going to get the type of engagement and interaction that we did. So this is the tree that the owl has been deciding to call home. I think it's probably the most aesthetically pleasing with the lights. That's my opinion of why the owl likes it. But yeah, the owl is pretty much just hanging out here for a good chunk of time. The barred owl that was uh, found at the University of Oregon um, actually was uh, not thin. Uh, he was not injured. Uh, we believe he was incredibly naive, uh, possibly because of maybe growing up in kind of an urban environment and not really having to have any fear of people because people probably just ignored him. Um, and he was actually brought into our hospital because he let one of our staff members grab him. And we found out that while he was really fit uh, and healthy, he had a really high level of internal parasites. So because we did that test and we knew he had the, a, lot, a heavy load is what we call that, uh, we decided to go ahead and treat uh, for those parasites. And now that treatment is done. So we'll be doing another analysis um, and making sure that we did clear that up but he is now ready for release as soon as he gets his clean bill of health. And he is um, out in one of our larger flight um, aviaries right now. He has a healthy uh, fear response uh, for, uh, and he is actively avoiding us at this point. So we believe that it just kind of took um, a couple negative interactions with him and we do try to release especially um, adult owls or actually any adult raptor uh, where they were found because that is, they're familiar with the territory. This guy is a youngster, so um, we will be releasing him in uh, appropriate habitat that is a little bit further away from the night library on the University of Oregon campus. <laughs>